Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations at your service. I'd like to talk a little bit about antenna gain, the concept of antenna gain. You've probably heard this concept. Usually antenna gain is expressed or measured with respect to a half wavelength dipole antenna. And what I've drawn here now is a half wavelength dipole as viewed from high, high, high above. North is up just like in a map in this particular diagram. So what we can do is plot the directivity pattern of this half wave dipole antenna. And if we do that, what we will get is something that looks like this, like a great big eight, <clears throat> except these are perfect circles, more or less here, pretty close to perfect circles. The maximum radiation and response then in this case would occur in north and south directions. The orientation of the antenna east and west, and we're assuming that it's a horizontal dipole antenna. Now, once in a while, you will hear about other antennas, for example, the full wavelength loop that I described in a previous video. Just uh, the same, actually, I described it in a video earlier today, uh, June 13th, 2014, uh, where a full wave loop exhibits a slight amount of gain with respect to the dipole. Suppose now, instead of this half wave dipole antenna, you are looking down on a full wavelength loop antenna oriented in a vertical plane so that its axis runs north and south. What you will find is that you will get just a little bit of gain in your directivity pattern then. Well, I should redraw that a little bit. Is going to have narrower lobes like this, but they will extend out further indicating gain. That's how we indicate gain is the relative radius from the center of the antenna. So you will find that you will have a sharper pattern. You will have a little bit more gain than a dipole does, and but you will also have directivity. And this is where the rub comes in because when you hear about antenna gain, an antenna cannot actually give you more power from your radio than the radio puts out. All an antenna can do is distribute the power from your radio in a certain way. So that, for example, uh, let's just erase everything here and start all over again with an antenna at the center. And let's go up a whole lot higher than we were. So high, in fact, that the antenna looks just like a little speck, like a little dot. So this is your antenna right here. If you have a dipole antenna, you get these circles. If you have a loop antenna, you get an eight, a new, like a numeral eight, but it's a little bit squished in the, a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier. <clears throat> now suppose, that instead you were to have a multi-element broadside array, then what you might see is very skinny lobes, and they would go out a lot farther. They would be, you would have gain possibly upwards of three, four, maybe even five decibels with respect to the dipole. But that gain, when you talk about that gain, you're referring to the gain in the favored directions of the antenna, which in this case is still north and south. You, you get less power radiated in these other directions. The gain towards the north and the south comes at the expense of the signal in the other directions. And that is where you get the term directivity because 
it tends to direct your available radiated power in specific directions. Now you can also have other types of antennas, for example the Yagi or the Quad antenna, which will concentrate in, uh, your energy in mainly one direction. If we do that, <clears throat> once again let's look at our antenna like a little point. Suppose you have a Yagi antenna pointed north. You will get a lot of gain in that direction. But then you will get just little little tiny blobs, little blobby lobes off in these other directions. If you've seen radiation patterns of antennas, what I recommend you do is you get the, I believe they still publish this, the ARRL antenna book. Failing that, you can get the ARRL Haddon book, handbook. Get the latest edition. You'll spend 30 or 40 bucks for the thing, but it's a money well spent. You'll find a lot of information about antenna systems in that book. But when you talk about the key uh, concept that I'd like to express here is that this gain is not amplification. You can't get something for nothing. You don't get a free lunch. What you can do, though, is redistribute the food that you have for your lunch. <laughs> so, say if you're allowed 800 calories for your lunch, you can have one big hamburger, or you can have a salad that fills up a whole bushel basket. You're redistributing the available power, but you don't actually get more power. You get more effective radiated power, but the effective radiated power, or ERP, is the power that you would have if you could, the, the power that your transmitter would have to have if you had an omnidirectional antenna and it was generating all that power in every direction. So you might see, for example, if you have three decibels with respect to a dipole gain and you're putting 100 watts into that antenna, your effective radiated power is going to be three decibels greater than the dipole or twice the power. So instead of, say, 100 watts, you'd get 200 watts of effective radiated power. If you could have a 10 dBD antenna, that is a 10 to 1 power ratio, so you would have an ERP then of 1,000 watts, even though you're only putting 100 watts into the transmitter. That doesn't mean your antenna is amplifying. It just means it's concentrating or beaming the power that you have in a specific direction at the expense of these other directions. Stan Gibalisco. W1 Good Vibrations, signing off for now, 73 and so long.